hot. It's like freaking 45 degrees out. And that engine ice is not working because this is straight bumper to bumper traffic. But let me get close enough. Can we do that? I got, I moved like, like three feet sprinting. That was good. It was a good start. Ah, the stance to start was kind of bad, but it was good arm motion. There you go, ma'am. I'm here to be nice. So, my brother, how you doing? My brother, she wasn't even gonna wave at me. She was looking at me. Well, she's probably looking right through me. You know how they talk about those people from, unfortunately, that come back from war and they have that, they have that thousand yard stare? That lady had the thousand yard stare. She was looking right through me. I don't appreciate that. Well, I mean, maybe she was in war, I don't know. Maybe she was one of those female snipers. Could be. Maybe not. Oh, that's us. Should I race this lady? Should I race this lady? I'm gonna race this lady. I'm gonna see if she notices me. Not even looking. I was racing her too. I was racing her for what a good 200 meters. She wasn't even looking. She's just in there on her phone. She got a little headset thing in my bob, hands free, and she's in there using it, talking. Probably a yuppie with an iPhone. Sorry, but if you got an iPhone, you're a yuppie. Not that there's anything wrong with being a yuppie. You know, you probably go to Starbucks. You probably haven't. What is it? Uh, uh, a new Mac? I'm a PC guy, which means I'm more than likely a droid guy. Thin droid. So the question would be, because there's a new Transformer movie out. So this is the question. This is the question. If the Transformers come and take over the world, are you going to be on the good side because you like Android? Or are you going to be on the good side because you like Apple? That's the question. That is a, a $64,000 question in my opinion. What side are you going to be on? Well, that's a good, good question. I don't know. I don't know. What side? Me? I'm PC. Because I love the fact that I can overclock my PC. I can put whatever, whatever graphics card I want. I can build it up. I can use whatever cooling system I want. Put whatever RAM I want. I love that. I love that. Can't do that with an Apple can't do that with an apple. Oh yeah. Once again, it's time to rock it to the party in Tuesday Tail style. Today I got a relatively good one, I guess. All of them I generally think are pretty good. Um, today we're gonna talk about a couple I'm going to tell a joke, a drunk joke, and you know how I seem to run into a lot of drunk people, even when, I, even when I don't even go out very often, I seem to somehow end up running into drunk people. So, two things, 
for this Tuesday tale. I'm going to tell a drunk joke. Actually, it's a drunk true story about something that happened in Texas. And then I'm going to tell a drunk true story about something that happened to me and a couple of my friends last night. So, first of all, the, the drunk story that happened in Texas. Here we go. Here we go. So, this guy... Uh, I don't know if you know, but Texas generally has a lot, does a lot of uh, routine drunk checks. Well, they were doing this routine drunk check on this bar, um, and so an officer was waiting and watching people come out. And at the end of the night, this one fella he comes stumbling out, stumbling out of the of the bar, and he has his keys and he's trying to find his car, and he goes to four or five different cars right the whole time he's stumbling uh and then he eventually finds his car and kind of falls into it right and he's sitting right down next to his car all the while all these other people are coming out leaving the bar getting in their cars and going off and then finally the drunk guy gets up and he opens his car and falls into his car and so he sits there for a second the whole time the police officer is watching him thinking this guy is lit right so he's in the car for a while and pretty soon the the, <laughs> the wipers the windshield wipers come on and it's a it's a nice blue sky out nighttime obviously but there's no cloud in the sky but the windshield wipers come on and then the lights turn on and the blinkers turn on and everything is turning on except for the car and then at some point the car turns on right and the whole time the police officer's watching them more patrons leave the bar, get in their vehicles and take off. And then finally, when when this is the last car in the parking lot, he turns on his car, drives forward a little bit, backs up a little bit, and then slowly leaves the parking lot. That's when the police officer turns on his lights, pulls him over, walks up to the car and he says excuse me sir i'd like you to step out of the car so the guy steps out of the car very nonchalantly and he says i'm gonna have you do a breathalyzer and the guy says sure so he blows into the breathalyzer and he blows absolutely clean and the police officer says this doesn't make any sense sir um i'm gonna have to ask you to come in to uh the jailhouse because there's something wrong with our breathalyzer and the, and the guy says well i don't think there's anything wrong with your breathalyzer i'm the designated drunk decoy for the night <laughs> true story out of texas crazy i guess they do it right in texas so anyway back to our other story so we ended up going out the other night and uh we're a bunch of our bunch of a group of us are there, and we're watching. Uh, we're watching. We're watching these drunk people. This one girl just straight. We're at this little club, and this one girl just straight fell down. It's not even a club. It's like a bar, and this one girl straight fell down, and uh, people picked her up, and we watched her. And then this other guy, who was drunk as all be. Um, I, he just started hanging, he kind of leached on to, to our party, and he was just kind of hanging out for a second, and so my wife and the two other girls, actually one of the girls asked him to take a picture, and <laughs> my buddy behind him was watching him, and so we're in like this small area, really small area, um, probably only, it was long, it was longer than deep, or it was deeper than than wide it was only about six feet wide but it was like 14 feet deep and it was just a little area that we were that we had and so the girls are kind of close and they want they ask him to take a picture and so he takes his phone he takes one of the girls phones and he's like stumbling and he's and he's got the phone like this and i don't know if you know but you can't get a whole lot there's there was four girls in the picture and you can't get four i mean literally the he was trying to take a picture and he was this close to the four girls imagine the four girls being my bike and he was like this close and he had the phone like this and he was like this close and he was trying to take a picture right and i'm thinking to myself i'm sitting over here and i'm thinking to myself there's no way in the world 
he's gonna get all those chicks. He needs to go like this, landscape, right? He's got it like this. And my buddy gets behind him. And I see him talking to him. And he and my buddy's saying, no, you got it almost, almost, right? And the whole time the guy's like this. And and my buddy, LB, he's like, you almost got it. You almost got it. No, nope, no, nope, okay. That's it right there. Take the shot. So he takes the shot. And then, and then LB says, take one more shot. You almost got it. You almost got No, no, right there. Take one more shot. And so he takes the shot, right? And then and the dude stumbles off. And LB looks to me and he said, that fool just took a selfie. <laughs> he, he didn't even realize that the camera was pointing to his dumb ass. <laughs> so I have the actual picture of what that dude took. And I'll post it here. I'll just post it all over right here so you can see. How dumb that fool was. He swore he was taking a picture of the four girls when he was taking a picture of his own dumb ass. Oh, comedy. So, moral to the story is don't be so drunk that you can't even re recognize your own face while you're taking a picture. <laughs> Listen, have a great day. Have a great week. Do whatever you can to make somebody smile. Like I just got doing that. This I'm cracking myself up. Anyway, my boy LB, he's a, he's a funny dude. And whenever I get time to spend some time with him, whenever I get a chance to spend some time with him, I do because he's one of those guys. God gave him the gift of gab, man. He just always talks. He's, he's brilliant when he talks. He makes you, he makes people smile all the time. If you've got friends like that, hang out with them. This is Law. Have a great day, man. I'm gonna go finish writing. And then I'm going to go home and maybe play some Battlefield. Peace in your hood.